Ms. Schrader, welcome to the program here. Turnout there in Wise County in the first few days has, has been remarkable. I think 20% plus of the registered voters have already voted. What's the number at right now as far as turnout goes? As of last night, we uh, which went as of Wednesday night, we had 10,407 already here in Wise County. Give me context on this in Wise County there, Ms. Schrader. What's driving people to the polls right now? I, I, I think a, a number of a number of things we, we've always encouraged early voting. Um, you know, this we anticipated high turnout for this election. We're breaking records. I think most counties in Texas are. And, and you guys have broken records compared to 2020 turnout, which 2020 turnout broke a lot of records. Where are we numbers wise right now compared year to uh, cycle to cycle here? The, the 2020 turnout was 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 record breaking. And we we had a total of twenty five thousand, a uh, little over twenty five thousand vote in in November twenty twenty eleven thousand after three complete days of early voting. So we're well on track uh, to break. We've broken a record every single day. We've had lines every morning. So um, the, the turnout, uh, the weather's been great. That usually affects turnout, uh, and a lot of people wanting to avoid long lines on election day and. And heating or hey, vote early when you can. Tell me how many people have, have turned out so far, and then what the total number of voters is there in Wise County. Uh, we we have we're we have uh, fifty six thousand slightly over fifty six thousand registered voters now in Wise County. We're a fast growing county, like most counties are in North Texas right now. Um, in comparison, in the in the twenty twenty election. We had uh, we had approximately forty five thousand, almost forty six thousand registered voters. So we have actually grown by ten thousand registered voters since the previous presidential election. Yeah, that's a significant growth there. Any idea? I know you don't probably don't track this, but any idea uh, based on party with this turnout here? Are more Republicans voting than Democrats? Democrats and Republicans? What what, what are you thinking here? Um, we we don't uh, of course we don't know uh, I know in the primary elections of course people vote in their own party primary uh, I know that Wise County historically votes around eighty five percent eighty three to eighty five percent Republican uh, and and you know thirteen to fifteen percent Democrat and those kind of track with what our last presidential in twenty twenty numbers were here but I, no way to tell there's just a lot of excitement and people are turning out. We're a week into early voting here. Early voting ends on Friday, the, the 1st of November. What, what are you watching for between now and Election Day itself? Just trends. Uh, we're trying to keep up uh, with supplies. We prepared all summer. And we're, we're historically, the first two days and the last two days of early voting are always your busiest. So we really prepared uh, for the end of next week. We expect long lines to ramp up the last two days of early voting. October 30th and 31st. So we're encouraging people to get out there before that and before Election Day. Uh, we do have lines right now, but I think they'll be worse at the end of next week. So uh, the voters are, are they're being patient for the most part. For, for the most part. Have you had any issues? I believe there's one arrest that I read there in the uh, Wise County Messenger. Uh, yes, we always have, you know, uh, you know, 99 percent of our voters are are really they they know they know the rules and they know the laws and um we do have always a few voters that uh, that don't want to follow the rules, and uh, but uh, we we just follow state law and, and have them removed from the polling location. And uh, but other otherwise, voters have been patient. Uh, I'm glad they're they're waiting in line. And like I said, the weather's nice. Yeah. They're having to stand outside. We've had lines every day before the polls open, which is a first since I've been here. That's a first for you having lines every day. Before the polls open, yes, it is. Really? Yes. And and, and that excitement is, it, it's just interesting to me because we, we couldn't really get a gauge about whether the turnout this year would be bigger than 2020. But the fact that you're seeing people show up before the polls even open at 7 a.m. is pretty telling. Yes. Now, Iowa County, the first week, we open at 8 a.m. Um, because uh, your, your hours are governed by your population of your counties. So we were eight to five the first week, and then starting Saturday, we'll be seven to seven from there on. We'll be 12 hour days. But regardless, I think people are just taking advantage of, of early voting, and, and it's it's just been phenomenal. Like I said, the, the first couple of days and the last couple of days of early voting are always the heaviest. But in fact, we've been over 
we have been uh, within 200 votes of the last three days of our totals we have of our four voting locations. Wow. Ms. Schrader, how concerned are you about misinformation? There's a lot of misinformation out there. I have talked to my county chairs about this issue. Um, there, I'm in close contact with them. We've had one um, one allegation of, of vote flipping as this came up in the 2016 presidential and the 2020 presidential. Uh, our machines don't do that. We're just encouraging voters to look at your screen, look at your electronic screen, make sure your selections are there when you print out that, that print vote record before you put it in the scanner to cast your ballot, double check it. If it is wrong or you have perhaps not selected who you wanted to on the screen, um, our system allows us to spoil that ballot and issue a new one. So the voters need to be patient, just make sure they, that their vote is correct on the screen. And then when they review, it prints out, review that so that we make, we make sure that they get to vote who they wanted to vote for. That's good advice. Are you concerned at all about, about uh, security there in Wise County at your office? I uh, no, our, our sheriff's office does a does a very good job of patrolling our polling locations and and taking care of us as far as as any safety concerns. Um, our our voters here are, are normally just very respectful um, of our poll workers. Our poll workers are doing a really good job. They're working harder than ever. We're processing over a hundred voters an hour, which is which is um, uh, a pretty it, that's that's a pretty big task. And uh, I haven't had any safety concerns come up yet. Uh, we discuss this a lot in our poll worker training classes and uh, a lot of cooperation from our sheriff's department on this issue. Have you had any issues at all getting uh, uh, precinct judges, people to, to help out and staff your polling locations? No, we have, we've really been fortunate uh, that we, we have plenty of workers. We have, I thought we had more workers than we probably needed. Uh, but as it turns out, uh, they're they're staying very busy. Uh, they don't they don't have time to take many breaks during the day, and and they're doing a really good job. So we were fortunate enough to have enough uh, workers sign up, go through training back in September, attend our poll worker training classes, and uh, we've ended up needing every single person that we recruited and our county chairs recruited. Wow. And then the two last questions. Any idea how long it's going to take to, to count all the ballots uh, election night? Well, uh, normally we are uh, we we are precinct based on election day. So, um, as you know, we 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 are we've already had one ballot board meeting. We we can't tabulate any votes until election day. We can start um, doing our tabulating mail in ballots, not until that or that morning. Uh, normally. When I say we have we are precinct based, we have 21 election day voting locations. So, if the voter waits till election day, they have to go to their voting precinct and vote. We're a rural county still, and so we have some polling locations that are maybe 40 minutes from my office, um, in the dark on a two lane road. So it takes them a while to get in, but they still do a good job of getting those numbers into us, the equipment in, so that we can tabulate them. And I think the late election has been by midnight this election may be a little different because i expect we have lines at 7 p.m on election night and of course if you're in line to vote at 7 p.m you get to vote so i i expect our numbers will be later than normal possibly three or four in the morning hopefully before that but um we will have our early voting numbers out of course at seven like sure. all the other counties we're allowed to release those at 7 p.m uh this the the Final numbers may take a little bit longer because of the sheer volume of, of ballots this election. Last question for you. Any idea how much of the total vote is going to be the early vote? That has changed uh, since since I've I've been here since 2015. And we we've really tried we've really tried to push that. I think when I arrived, we were about 30% early voting, 70% election day. Uh, we we've gotten uh, hopefully my goal is to get to 70-30. Uh, and, and I believe the last presidential, we were about 60, 40. In this election, I think we, I, hopefully we're going to be at least 70% early voting, maybe 75. That is my, that is my hope because the, uh, voters are happier. They don't have to go to their precinct on election day. They don't have to stand in long, as long of the lines. And uh, 
I'm I'm watching the numbers, um, but I'm I'm hoping that everybody's taking advantage of early voting and we hit that 70, 75 percent uh, EV mark. And and then those that want to vote on Election Day, uh, they will. That that helps us get our numbers out there a lot earlier in the night as well. Indeed. So, Ms. Schrader, thanks so much for the time. Good luck to you. Thank you, Jason, for having me.